London Wargaming. Today I'm here with Dave from Angel Squadron. Hi, uh... Hi Dave! Uh, we are playing Underworlds and today it's going to be the Sepulchral... Is that what I say it? Sepul yeah, Sepulchral Guard. Sepulchral Guard versus the Storm of Celestus. Because I've decided to give him another go. And we've got the new board set up from Wintermore with some stuff from your starter box. Yeah. First time we've played in a while. Um, but looking forward to getting back into this game because it's nice and fun. And we've got stuff painted. Yeah. And a few war bands we can swap between. So, like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Uh, and we'll be back when we're set up. Okay. Uh, and I'll play Stalwart Defence. So I'll get plus one defence in the next activation if I'm holding an objective. Nice. Uh, do, do, do. I will activate the inevitable petitioner. Have him charge and try and take you out. Yep. Um, that is just two dice, though. Um, is this against Millison or Afer? Uh, Afer will carry on doing what I was trying to do, so that's a hit. Okay. Uh, I get an extra defence die actually. Hopefully. Oh, crap. Okay, yeah, you block it. That's the end of the game, aren't they? Yeah, I don't think there's anything. Yeah, because you didn't take any more of my guys out. I couldn't get inspired no, and I score another objective. I didn't get any more objectives. So I got three. I think you beat me by loads, didn't you? I've got five, yeah. So the score's three to five to Dave. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Those nasty wardens. The thing is, if you, if I stopped... Because you kept going for the same guy over and over, it actually limited me. If you'd wiped out others and I'd brought them back, I would have actually been in a better position. <laughs> okay, well, you've enjoyed this battle report for Underworld. So we probably play another game. What's the time? Yeah, time for another game, aren't we? Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, like and subscribe for more content. Okay, so this is the setup for our uh, game. What I said to say is lots of skeletons and not a lot of storm cast. Uh, and we roll off for the first turn. Yeah. Or well, first activation, should I say. Now you have what an extra crit. Nothing, but I do get the one for but you've got, first, yeah. You got two of them as well, so. What do you get? Do you get any crits? Uh, no, no crits. So I get the first activation. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to activate Aphus the Brave and I'm going to shoot this skeleton with his great bow. Uh, it's three shots, needing hammers. Two. Yeah, and then I need to roll defence. So it's one defence die. So it's against which one? The uh, this one. That one. I need one shield. It's a crit. Ooh. But does, does the crit two. stop two? So two successes against a crit. Yes, that action fails. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's the end of his activation. Then power phase. Uh, I will. Push. Sleep. I'm going to play swift step. Yep. And push sleep two squares. Nice. And I'll pop that in my discard pile. Uh, 
to silence my phone before I get lots of hateful comments. <laughs> Mm. Like I've got nothing to react with. Okay. Um, I'll pass then. Yeah. So uh, goes on to my activation. Yep. <sighs> um. We'll move harvester. To an objective. Yeah. Okay. Um, I've got nothing to do power phase wise. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I've got my whole pass as well then. Okay, so on to your next activation. I'm going to activate Aphis again <laughs> and try and shoot this one. Hit, hit, crit. Oof. It is three dice, isn't it? If it's got three there. Oh, that's the range, isn't it? It's just, how many dice should I roll? I think I'm doing this wrong. We haven't played in so long, have we? Uh, it looks like it's two dice. So I've been doing that wrong. Let me re-roll that. Yeah. I was cheating. I was looking at the range, not the... Uh... Oh, there you go. Two ammo. Which is what you needed anyway. Right. Let's roll. No. Did it go through? Yeah, it went through. Woo! Uh, two damage. Yeah, and he only has two, so he's out of action. Out. Uh, and because my attack action succeeds, Aphis becomes inspired, and I gain a glory, don't I, for taking a yeah one of yours out uh, as a reaction. Oh my, I don't have any things yet to do that. Because upgrades you need to spend glory, don't glory, you? Glory, yeah. Uh, do, do, do. Okay, so did you say you're done with that? Yeah. 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 Okay. Your activation. Um, Sepulchral Warden is going to take action. Choose one friendly fighter that is out of action and place one empty star and hex in the territory and give that fighter one raise counter. <laughs> and, uh, then he becomes inspired because he has a raise counter. Here we go. So by killing him, you've made him stronger. If you strike me down, I will become more dead than you can possibly imagine. <laughs> Is that the end of your activation? Yeah. Uh, are you going to play anything? Uh, did you give yourself glory for killing him? Yeah. Uh, Oh, it was too late to do that. I'll save that for next time. Okay, well, I've got nothing to play. Okay, uh, on to your activation then. Yep. Um, I'm going to activate... Um, I'll activate Aphis again, why not? I'll just keep shooting at you. Oh, that's quarry not there. So I'll shoot at you again. <laughs> uh, one hammer. Okay. A oh. 
for it. So he cancels it. Yeah. Uh, no power set to your activation. Oh. Um. Right, well, let's bring that zealous petitioner that is now inspired um, into play because now he's inspired, he has three movement. Oh, no. So he's gonna uh, one, two, three, and charge. Oh, no. And he's going to attack three dice. And they're all hammers. I needed swords. So I'm okay? Yep. Nice. Power step. Uh, I've got nothing. Uh, I'm going to play Raise the Alarm. So I get plus one dice to friendly fighters attack actions in the next activation. If that target, that target an enemy fighter with one or more charge tokens. <laughs> Because you've woken Sleek up and he's barked. <laughs> he's gone bah, bah. Uh, My last activation then. Uh, I'm going to charge. Oh, mind you, he doesn't. Uh. No, I'm just going to hit you with him. Aethus again, he's doing all the work. He's going to try and shoulder barge you, so he's got three attacks. Yeah. But I need swords now. Nope. Nothing. Nice. That's the end of mine, and I've got... Uh, I'll play Distracting Shot. So minus one dice from the enemy enemy attack actions in the next activation. Okay, I'll just get Prince of Dust to so move on to here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then uh, we're going into a round of things. Yeah. And I'm going to uh, the objective, lay claim to it all. Score this in an end phase if your warband holds more objectives than each other warband. Oh, no. So that gets me one. I have nothing. No <laughs> worry. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to discard two objectives. Yeah. Uh, and then we redraw the note. We redraw cards. So two objective cards and three. Yeah, I'll discard an objective. Three. I'm going to spend one on my one glory on an upgrade for Sleek. Nice. So I'm going to give him Loyal Companion. So after another friendly fighter's activation, push this fighter up to two X's so that the two fighters are adjacent. Uh, the 
Supple Warden. Yep. It's an ancient commander, which gives me action to command three friendly fighters to make one move action. Nice. Okay. All right. Well finished it. Yeah. Four dice, isn't it? Four, yeah. One crit. One crit. Uh, you get any supports? Uh, no, no supports. Well, and then it's all swords, but then which one's higher? Uh, Different hammers are better. No, we just have to start the roll off again. Oh. Nothing. Uh, you get support, it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, amazing. Your activation then, Dave? Yeah, well, I will activate my warden and command. Three of them to move forwards. Nice. So let's give the champion. He's got two movement. He's in no man's land. Uh, the oh, that was the inevitable petitioner. So now the champion, who's also two movement, uh, one two into no man's land. And we'll send the rising petitioner as well forwards to so all three of those have moved. Okay, I'll take that. Okay, my okay. activation. Uh yeah, um any power. as well. Okay, on to your activation. Uh, so, I'm going to activate Draken, and he's going to fire a shot at this guy because he's now supported. Yeah. Uh, so it's two, I can't remember what support does, oh you count the support, support thing don't you? Yeah, you can add a, a support single thing. support, yeah which I didn't get, okay. uh, but I did get a hit with the hammer. Okay. Uh, uh, he's still on one defense dice. Uh, no. And two damage. Okay. He's down. Woo! And he then becomes inspired. That's the end of my activation, but I do score. Uh, point blank. Immediately after an activation in which a friendly fighter made a successful range free plus attack action which targeted an adjacent enemy fighter. <laughs> nice, so you get a glory for that. Yep. I'll put that over in the discard pile. going to spend that glory on Aphus and give him cautious advance. So after this fighter's activation in which this fighter made an attack action, push this fighter one hex. Ooh, nice. So I can hit you and then move. <laughs> nice. Okay, I'm going to uh, claim the objective land of the dead. Yep. So it's a surge duel, so I score it immediately after your activation. 
as my warband holds two or more objectives and the total value of the objectives is six or greater, which is seven and eight. <laughs> Fifteen then? Yeah, so that's a glory for nice. me. Nice. Uh, your activation then? Right. I will activate the warden again. Yep. Uh, to resurrect uh, the zealot petitioner. Uh, he just don't die. <laughs> yeah, so he gets. Because he's already got one, it then inspires the warden as well. <laughs> I like the undead guys, they're awesome. They're really Warden. cool. I like how like their synergy. Okay, is that the end of your activation? Uh yeah, that's the end of his activation. Any power moves? Um, Any power plays? Ooh. Yeah, you know what, let's sp spend a glory to uh m like keep that guy alive a bit longer, make him undying so he has <laughs> one extra wound. <laughs> Because he keeps dropping. <laughs> like, come on, come on, guy. You're you're a bit of a liability now. Mm. My activation. Yeah. Okay, I am going to activate Celestus again, and this time he's just going to move onto here. That's it. Okay. Um. No power play. I will activate um, the last petitioner. It's going to charge. Not sleek. Uh, yeah, it's going for him. Oh, it's a three dice. Uh, I get one defense dice. Two swords. I one evade. Okay, so he's taking one damage. No. Poor sleek. Found. Okay, and then um, I'm going to play Terrifying Screams. Yeah. Uh, so an enemy fighter within two hexes of one of my friendly fighters. So this guy. Yeah. I'm going to push him one hex. Oh no! So I take damage. Yeah. Hazardous. Oh, wrong one. Okay, my activation. Yeah. I'll put it on Melissin. I don't know if I'll check now. Do I take damage as I move out of it? Uh, I wouldn't imagine so. Just, I'll just double check. Because it's our first time playing with Hazardous. So. Oh, it is uh, hard to find some of the rules. When a fighter moves, is placed or pushed into. So, so not that. Out, so not out of it was just as it just went into. into. So Melissa will move three or two over into that objective, and then that is the end of my activation. Okay. cheating again Dave. I think you can only use a crossbow once. Per person, per phase. Oh, that like one attack. Because mm. um. I shot with him twice, didn't I? No, because 
Um, I think you can attack, but I think it's movement that's limited. It says this fighter can only make this attack action once per phase. Ah, okay. So you can do a ranged and a melee. Yeah. Remember that. Yeah, because I think... I mean, it wouldn't have made a difference because I could have shot... Because when you only have one figure, I think it means then you can... You can attack again attack, and again, can't you? move, but you can't move and charge. Yeah. You have to either move or charge. You remember it for next time. Yeah. But he's shot... And these two haven't this turn, so... Yeah. Um, I'm going to activate the Warden. Yeah. And he's going to move three. Oh. Uh, one, two, three. Um, and that's it. Any power card? No. My activation? Yeah. Hmm. I will do a normal attack with Aphis the Inspired uh, against him. He is supported. Single support. Ooh, yeah. Which I then for so that's one. Uh, defense die. Uh, oh, he is supported, so one support in defence, yeah. Oh, so he blocks it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, That's it. Any power? Uh, I will play. No. No, you no, pass no, it. Yeah, pass. I'll pass as well. So we go to end phase. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to claim the objective Eternal Legions. So score this in an end phase if three or more friendly fighters are each in no ones and or enemy territory. So with these three. Nice. I'm scoring two glory. Nice. And I'm scoring, here we stand. So score this in end phase if your warband controls two or more objectives. For one glory. Nice. Okay, and then we draw cards. I'm going to discard this one. I have Righteous Banishment. I was hoping I'd kill two in a turn, but he keeps bringing them back. So yeah. <laughs> I'll discard that one. Yeah, I'll discard this one as well. If we draw up power cards as well. Yeah. yeah so up we're back to five. Out to five. Okay. And then we'll finish it. Yeah, we're going to round three now, yeah. It is the final round, yeah. Oof. One crit? Nope. You're up first then. Nice. I will... He's not charged, does he now? Sleek is going to attack that uh, skeleton there. Nice. Needing swords, but he's supported. Crit, and that's a double support, isn't it? Yeah. So just the crit. Okay. Uh, crit in defense. Oh, does anyone really think the crit, crit counts as a crit, doesn't it? A crit cancel, crit. Chart. It becomes a draw, yeah. Yeah, so it's a draw. So, but it drives back. Oh, okay. So I can push you back one yeah. hex. Yeah. Bob. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, well, that's my activation then. Play great blow, great bow block. So my next power until until the next uh, I reduce damage by one. Ooh. Except for on sleek. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you finished power yet? Yeah? You passing? I'm passing. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to play consecrated, concerted consolidation and push up to two friendly fighters in my territory. One hex, t one towards the one hex towards the nearest objective. Ooh. So I'm going to push him back. I'll push him there. Okay. And that's it. Pass. <laughs> okay. I will activate the warden. Mm-hmm. And he's going to command three of them to advance. And the champion is two. Okay. Um. I'm going to upgrade the champion with a legacy of dust. Yep. Uh, plus one damage to range one attack actions made by friendly petitioners within two hexes of this fighter. And if this fighter is within two hexes of a friendly petitioner, this fighter is supporting that petitioner. Oh, nice. Okay. My activation? Yeah. I'm going to activate Melissa Star Sighted. And I'm going to shoot my bow. Uh, that one. Yeah. Crit and a support, but the support doesn't count because I'm not being supported. <laughs> yeah. And defense. Uh, no. Okay, so that's two damage. Yeah. But more importantly. Inspired. I'm inspired. Take that opportunity to activate him. Yep. And he's going to charge Sleek. No! <laughs> okay. So he's going to attack. Ooh, cleave. Oh, Cleave. What does Cleave do again? Leave. Well, uh, rolls of shield cannot, so that one can't be counted as defense. Oh, nice. I think Sleep uses his evade anyway. Uh, okay. Uh, how many evades has he got? One. I only rolled a shield anyway. Crit. Uh, we've got a crit and a hit, and it's three damage. Oh no! I've taken Sleek out of action. Yeah. Um, no! Okay, um, I'm going to surge. 
dual objective. Uh, score this immediately after an activation step if a friendly fighter is attack action. Oh! Enemy fighter yeah. action. Yep. And, uh. Oh, no, I can't do that because he doesn't have a raise counter. Because you didn't kill him! Um. Okay, now I can't score that. Never mind. Oh, okay, I can do this though. Uh, Gambit ploy ceaseless attacks. Play this after an activation in which a friendly fighter made one or more attack actions. Choose another friendly fighter. The chosen fighter makes one attack action. So I will go for um, the Zealous Petitioner. There. Yep. Who is inspired, which is nice, so extra attack dice. Uh, he gets. Use this on Aether. Uh, on this guy, yeah. yeah. Uh, so he's getting. A crit. And it's three. So crit stops. Two, so one goes through. It's only one damage. Okay, so it just takes one damage. My activation? Yeah. Uh. He'll punch him. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he's going to shoulder barge him. So three dice needing swords. Nope. Nothing. You'll go. Uh, I will activate the Zars Petitioner and have him attack. Yep. So we'll go for it again with three dice. Uh, that's a crit and two support. One support. So it's a crit and a support. So one damage. Yeah. One damage. Uh, so that's two going through. It's okay. got one wound left, is it? Yeah. Oh. Last activation then. Yeah. Celestus, he'll shoot his bow at him, which is supported. Two dice and hammers. A crit. crit. Okay. Come on. A crit. Oh, so it's nothing but it drives you back. Drives you back, yeah. Okay, that's, that was my last activation.